It's Friday. Do you know where your IT guys are? We don't. It's Patch and Switch. And now, two guys who are restricted from being within 500 feet of a Zamboni still manage to find their way to a hockey rink. It's Patch and Switch. A Samboni? A Samboni. <laughs> <laughs> it apparently doesn't do trademark names very well. I guess not. I've been on a Zamboni. I know. I had the best time on a Zamboni. I know. In the ice rink that is known as the Blackhawks. I don't even know what they call that ice rink, but I guess I've been honest. Give them a pony. Yeah, I know, right? Eh? Well, it's I've been United. honest. You can give me a pony. <laughs> it's it's the United Center. The United Center mm-hmm. Zamboni ride that was absolutely amazing to be able to do that. That's the year they won the cup. It you was. Know, it was just. It was the a pre- start of that season. Preseason game. Was it a preseason game? Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. I, I don't like preseason games very much. No, it's not the same. It's not the same. It's not the same. But hey, you're not liking Olympic playoff <laughs> hockey either, are you? Well, actually, I really enjoyed that game. It was a, the, the it, women's game. Was I fantastic. despise the fact that the Olympic uh, International Olympic Committee rules for international hockey, European hockey, whatever it is, resorts to doing shootouts. Shootouts. I agree. I agree. Like, like stand up. Let's actually go ahead and just well, let them play. Going. Just let them play. I don't it, think that game would have been like, like the NHL. <laughs> yeah, fatigue will kick in, and then yeah, someone will score. That's all you got to do. Is, well, as yeah. opposed to this, the so. first hockey game I ever got to watch on cable because we didn't have cable in my neighborhood till I was well into my high school years. They had black and white first, right? Yeah, exactly. No, they uphill in the snow both ways. Yeah. No, it was that uh, Flyers Capitals game that went like five overtime. Yeah. We ordered three pizzas during the game. I know it's crazy. It's like, oh my goodness, it's crazy. It'll eventually, it'll eventually work itself out. But you know, well, twenty years of gold medals. I think yeah. you guys can have one. Wait, so last I heard, you guys were down three nil to Germany. In, in oh, the, the men's, men's hockey. Team? Oh no, oh, men's, yeah. men's. I don't even care about. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, wow. the women's hockey team is the is no, the, it is on both sides. Yeah, it on is on both sides. It is hockey like you've never seen before. They are absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, it, but, was, it was a heck of a game. You know, you got to say me up way too late. You got to say that uh, I got my automated announcement saying that sign up now. Five hundred dollars for regular seat for regular level seats. A thousand dollars for club level seats. Yes. for NHL in Seattle. Yes, right you have to commit yourself to oh going on March third. I do believe they open up the website. March the first. It. March the first. March the first. Yeah. And I wish I had two grand in my pocket just sitting right. around. You know. Yes, because we've got we've got uh, the, the 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 nationals the nationals hockey leagues coming. Yep. So it is my, my wife coming. and I. Yeah, it is. And if you want seats, well, so this is your chance to get in line to get first dibs at seasons. Is you they've, they've not been given a team yet. Yeah. This is that's why proving like, the NHL. It's it's, pr- it's proving that we actually have enough fan interest. It's a to deposit. Do it. Oh. Or what it really means is it's proving that we have enough bookies. And sports <laughs> ticket sellers like the Seahawks <laughs> that will go ahead and buy up all those tickets and then make it so that we can't get any tickets. Got it. So I should be finding a, like a two grand in my this, uh, find, find a two grand somewhere to be able to do it. Yep. And so it's it's basically five hundred bucks for a regular seat. You can buy a maximum of four, and then it's uh, same thing for the club levels. So uh, Vizio MVP guys here as is Tony. Got to say hello to Gareth. Uh, Colleen is apparently supposed to be doing something and is not. Uh, J Flow's here. No, literally, he's here. Oh, what nice. Up, he's in the go? room. <laughs> yeah, Nice. Uh, he's also here in the other room. Uh, nice. Dave Upton in the house. Uh, Sean Lowe in the house, as is our very own Essex girl, who has given us a score update. It's 3-4 to four to Germany was the final score in men's hockey. You lost to Germany. Yeah. Like I said, I don't care about the men's hockey okay. team. I don't care at all. All right. It's women's hockey is what I'm obsessed about. And, and my good friend Lara is here. Hi, Lara. She's famous. She's like... Lara? Lara? Lara. Lara. Not Laura. It's nice. Laura. LA. See, I'm back again. So I said, trying to figure out which one I'm supposed right, to be you at. Quit moving Just, the camera. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm over here. Uh, oh, maybe we, this is we it. We have low production values here. Oh, I found it. I found the page. This yeah. is it. I got it. So now I can do these fun things like I'm angry with you, and I can have them come out. Stop that. They're not flying across the thing, though. Quit they're, it. They're, uh, they eventually will. Gareth says they for uh, Cincinnati, they have the ECHL where they buy a $12 ticket on game day, walk down to the front row. Oh, yeah. That's the good days. That's yeah. the good stuff. Well, you could do that with uh, most NHL teams if they're not doing well. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Because, uh, you know, fair weather and all. Uh, what about the curling? You've been watching the curling? I'm a, I'm Again, a Winter Olympics junkie. I'm watching uh, everything. No, we, uh, curling is awesome as well. Um the women have not been playing as well as they could have been. 
it's a young team that's there, uh, but they're still doing well. well. So now we have we have a friend uh, in the crew whose sister in law was the skip of the last gold medal winning yep. Canadian team. Yep. Apparently, she didn't make it through. I guess this is. They they take club teams and then those club yep. teams kind of go through a process. They, they go, they go Sorry, through a process. A, Let a me process. Speak they go through they go through a process up in Canada to figure out if they're able to curl, uh, drink a beer, and a Tim's at the same time while they're throwing stones. And then, based on their success of being able to do that with all the distractions, yeah. they're then able to go in and to go into a qualifying tournament to be able to rank. So they, so there is a Tim Hortons barrier or bar of entry at some there. at some point. Yes. Okay, gotcha. At some and, point. and the best part about it. The beer stays cold because they put it on the ice. Oh, totally, totally. Well, that's why that's that's why they had to invent the sport. Yeah, exactly. There's actually a picture <laughs> a buddy of mine sent from that. Uh, he f finds all these weird pictures from like 1970s sports, and there's actually a picture of a guy curling with a big cigarette hanging out of his mouth and a beer in the other hand as he's throwing the rock down the ice. And it was for like a championship game at yep. one of these tournaments. And that's that's just how you did it back in the 70s, having a smoke. <sighs> Having a player's light unfiltered. <laughs> Having a smoke. Don't get your toque on fire, eh? Oh, and he had bell bottoms on. Big polyester bell bottom pants. Oh, yeah? <laughs> it was great. Absolutely great. That's fantastic. They, sh they should do retro uh, retro uniforms for curlers. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> One of these days. <laughs> okay, that hurts. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, because Gareth just posted in Sweden. Sorry, this really hurts to laugh. Uh, in Sweden, they swap out the stones and curl live penguins. Oh, yeah. Well, they're more slippery, right? I got they're the, harder I got to the, regulate. I got the visual right there. <laughs> last night, I, I was watching the men's team last Hard. night. <laughs> last night, I was watching the men's team, and the, the, uh, the Canadian skip uh, had to stop what he was doing mm -hmm. and then call over the ice master. <laughs> Is actually a person. <laughs> is actually a, a role in curling called the ice master, and he's responsible for the quality of the ice and also for the maintenance of the stones. And the handle was loose, and the ice master is the only one that actually has the proper size Allen key to flip it over and to tighten it up, sweep it off, check the thing, and then put it back down again. Okay, you're good to go. You had to call. You're not allowed to do it yourself. I'm uh -huh. like, I'm just like, just leave the Allen key by the side of this of the of the lane, and yeah. you can just pick it up. Yeah. No, no. Ice Master is the only one that's allowed to touch the stones. Okay. Besides the players. All right. Is, just, it, is it the Ice Master and the Stone Keeper? No, no. It's, just, it's Ice Master does both. <laughs> and the Stone Keeper. Ice Master does both. And the best part is the Ice Master for the for the rink in South Korea is actually from Alberta. So. Oh, awesome. you know, uh, another random fun fact: the uh, <laughs> I, the person who's in charge of dealing with the ice in the speed skating uh, from Salt Lake City. Oh okay. yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's it's a big deal making ice. Like they were talking about because the ice uh, for the short track. I, I agree. My cocktails are never the same without ice. <laughs> 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 the uh, the ice short is track a big deal. The short track speed skaters and the uh, ice dancers uh, have to share the same sheet of ice. Yeah. And for speed for speed skating, you actually have to run your ice at least twenty degree or ten degrees cooler than what you run for uh, for ice dance. Yeah. Okay. And so they actually have to wait three hours in between the sports as they switch back and forth. Oh, yeah. To make sure the ice gets down the right temperature. Oh. So that's Who knew? another fact I learned from the Ice Master. It's called Ice Master there too. Oh, there's an Ice oh, Master. I want a business card that what? says Rick Claus Ice Master. <laughs> We could probably get that made for you. <laughs> what's the name of the dude who comes out and measures in curling? And that and what's up oh. with that device? There's been so many measurements that they yeah, measure yeah. like 19 times. That comes up with a different result every time. What's well the the uh, I don't know what the, the I should probably look it up. Someone could probably Google this faster or Bing this faster than I could. <laughs> but it's it's a it's a digital um, measurement tool that sticks inside the center hole exactly. Yeah, and then it has a the equivalent of a. Um, I want to say, what's those? Is it uh, measurement calipers, the really fine tuned ones that are digital um, with the pinchy thingies? Uh, they have one of those at the end that moves around. The and, but the hilarious thing is, I was watching this really contentious stone uh, for the, I think it was the Swedes in Canada, but it was their qualifying mm -hmm. game. Uh, and they didn't know if it was in or out, so they put it in, they put the measurement on it. It just has to touch the stone yeah. as it goes in the circle. Right. And then they get the digital measurement of what it is. Right. And then they just continue the rotation movement and see right. if it hits the other stone. Yeah. And if it doesn't, then well, but it's like there's some like little gauge or meter thing yeah. on there. And yeah, but the funny thing is, is that the woman that was doing it, she obviously hadn't done it very much because she put her head over top of the damn meter. So the camera's oh, the looking camera straight down, you just see this bald spot of this woman's head. <laughs> it's like, get out of the way. You got to see the stone. You got to see the stone measurement. Pear has a proposal to um, to give a better effect to, to curling by setting the stones on fire. <coughs> 
That would melt the ice. Well, but, uh, it won't cool. work. It they won't work. the top on fire. The, the stones only are allowed to come from a certain quarry up in uh, Scotland. And it's in Scotland. Yeah, one quarry, and that's all they do. That's all they do. It's it's 20, 20, ground, 20 pound granite stones. Yeah. <coughs> Talk about a niche market. Can you, can you tell I've been watching the CBC coverage of the Olympics as well. Oh, no. If, <laughs> now, the now, this, is hilarious. this is hilarious. The only way to watch the Winter Olympics in the States is to watch yeah. the Canadian coverage. Because exactly. the American coverage, no offense, uh, just the commentators just don't know what to do. They don't know what to talk about. They like, well, like, like, like I, I was figure watching skating. the, the, the big air figure I, skating. I've got to give you got to give it up to Tara Lipinski and and Mr. Like, did you see their handshake they do every time before they go I, on air? I saw that. On, <laughs> yeah, I thought that was pretty good. Yes, they're, they're pretty good. But yeah, yeah the rest of yeah. it, the, they they are this. They are the, the standout. They, they, they they are the standout uh, on hockey. Though I do have to say. Because they've switched over. It was like uh, NBC Sports, right? Yeah. So they had like guys who do hockey every day. Right. Your normal hockey announcers who do the NHL. But did they understand the, doing... the Olympic size? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they, they, they understand the whole thing. And they had guys, you got guys like Jeremy Roenick, who was, you know, one of the, he's an American born player, played oh, yeah. for ages and ages. And he's, he's there doing the color commentary about things. And no, it, it wasn't, it, the, the hockey coverage was a lot better than the rest. But boy, some of the other sports. <laughs> Though I, I've got to give the CBC guys who are doing the like border cross and and and, and the, the half pipe stuff because they're, oh, they're the, big, just, the big air guy. The, yeah, the big air guy was hilarious. Yeah, they're throwing out all the terminology yeah. and, and, and then the a, other guy going. Is, is like so what 12, exactly is a is a is a front side is, versus back side? This is a front side fourteen forty double the chicken <laughs> by Sean whatever Sean White uh, doing this one here chicken twist or something. a chicken twist and he's added in this new doohickey in the back rig it's like no I don't get it but no it's good I mean yeah I've, I've been a junkie too so is it is it like 1440p versus 4 no no it's not interlaced no. it's uh no what's it's HDR for? yeah he's HDR <laughs> everything's HDR nice. I, I will say the Winter Olympics is the one time I hate being a cord killer because I do you not lose have it. very good uh, access. Uh, yeah. 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 I, I pick up what I can on the YouTubes of people janking other yeah. <laughs> broadcasts, and that's about it. And then, and then, like, you know, you get 10 minutes in, and then it gets pulled. Nice. Well, speaking of being 10 minutes I in. I was about to say, we should probably start, eh? Yeah. Like this, I, I didn't think we were going to be uh, talking about sports all the time. This is, well, this, I just had this to, is, I just had in case you're wondering, in case you're wondering, this is the most sports that I've <laughs> talked about probably in the last year, in this last 10 minutes. Actually, At least in the last for no, four and, years. and knowledgeably, I, knowledgeably too. I thought this was our new podcast, Ice and Stone Weekly. Ice, <laughs> Ice and Stone Weekly. <laughs> I don't want to hear the term stone anymore. Yeah. Stones. <laughs> so yeah. oh, so, so can we address the elephant in the room that you're actually injured? You can't laugh. <laughs> I, uh, so my goal I'm this podcast <laughs> is to make sure that I make him I'm laugh. Hurt. <laughs> playing hurt. He's That's on the injured dirt. list. He'll be fine. He's on the injured <laughs> list. So, on I, so I had fine. no idea except through social media that this happened. Not so many I guess I guess this just shows the depth of our friendship for the last <laughs> seven years uh that or i or just didn't want to bother years. anybody with it which is uh, generally okay. the, the, the the reason there is that i didn't need to make an announcement but but yeah. you've been sick and you've been at home and yep. you've been uh on the mend on with the, the puppy <laughs> with the dog and has the no puppy kitchen. been hanging out with you she has it's yeah, perfect that's the awesome. best medicine man yeah it's other than she wants to be in my lap she's 45 pounds now <laughs> 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 that's not a best four times the size of bailey yeah Wow. Yeah. That's a big one. Yeah. So she, she wants to be in my lap, which doesn't work when you're recovering yeah. from gallbladder surgery. So Ouch. Yeah, I had, had to have my gallbladder removed. Extra that was parts. an experience. Yeah. Yeah. And nothing like just walking in. And so the, it came. So I came back from Sydney. And I'm really glad. That, no offense to anybody else in Sydney. Or in, I was supposed to be in Germany and London. Right yeah, now yeah. I was supposed to be in London yep. as we speak. Um, but uh, so I came home. Feel it got a little stomach achy, and I'm like, ah, normally I just take a take a Pepsi or something, and yeah. it's all good the next day. No, yeah. it didn't come back. It it just stayed, and it was like it woke me up, and I'm like, okay, I, maybe I have a flu bug or something. And if I've got a flu bug, I'm thinking Tamiflu. Yeah, I mean that's the first thing I'm like, because this these flu bugs have been running around here that have been taking people now, out for like weeks. Can, is Tamiflu over the counter, or do you got to get a prescription? No, you got to get a subscription. Okay. A subscription. A scri- yeah, subscription to it. Subscription <laughs> Amazon. Because I've seen, I've seen Tamiflu yeah, yeah, on auto, auto, <laughs> auto ship. Yeah. I've seen, I've seen Tamiflu on on the like the counter and and oh. uh, at people's houses. 
Is 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 it is it like a drink that you have? Is no. it like a pill? I think it's a pill, right? Because like, yeah, does Tamiflu make like a non-prescription version that's just no, on the it's counter? Theraflu. Thera, that's not the same. No, not Theraflu the same. is a different thing, and that's, that's like a that's generic a version thing. that's not real. It's no, it's, not even, no, it's, it's basically totally different. It's totally basically different. just vitamin C and and bubbly yes. stuff. Uh, it's acetaminophen, uh, the stuff for your. Uh, coughing yeah. and because I, I had a flu scare stuff. and uh it turned out it's not the flu but i got the, i got the flu test yeah ever had a flu <laughs> test before no did you pass it i i passed the test i didn't have the flu but like they literally have to sw- like they, they bring out two swabs yeah i'm like <laughs> i'm like where are you gonna swab me <laughs> why are you handing me this big bunch of kleenex <laughs> <laughs> and so it turns out they actually Ow. swab they swab the inside of your nose on both sides and i'm like yeah. that is the most vile feeling that i've ever had mm. but I, I came up negative so i'm happy but you know what they gave me three eight they they say oh well your fever's up do you want some uh, tylenol acetaminophen i'm like sure being a stupid canadian in the medical system in america <laughs> fifty dollars probably i haven't got the bill for it yet yep. but i'm probably gonna pay 50 bucks for three tylenol but you know why because they were given to me a little paper cup. But do you know why they're fifty dollars? No. It includes all the administrative costs of the ho- uh, whole hospital. Right. They no, include that's, everything into all. That's the bill to walk in the hospital. No. No, it's it's so in they everything. put it everywhere. You fund your entire medical system with the cost of everything. acetaminophen. Everything. Oh, I thought it's just acetaminophen. No, no it's everything. God, no. Oh, okay. I'm like, well, I don't want acetaminophen. Give me some of the ibuprofen. So anyway, I was anyway. I was going for so therapy. Back to you. <laughs> <laughs> I used to work in healthcare. Remember. True. Uh, and uh, did you get the like, test? Uh, no, she took blood, and and she's like, "Yeah, you need to go have an ultrasound." Uh, and I'm like, "Okay." So I go them. down to the ultrasound place and then do the ultrasound. And then, as I'm waiting for the radiologist to read the ultrasound and stuff, all the pain goes away. Like I'm like, "Oh, I'm good. I'm good." <laughs> I kind of dozed off for a little bit there, uh-huh. and, and then I woke up. You know, five ten minutes later, I'm like, oh, "I'm feeling great." No problem. Let's go right a 5K. Sure. I'm like, <laughs> let's go to Chick-fil-A. You know, I'm like, I'm good to go. Chick-fil-A was just down the road. Of course, like, man. It's a great place to be. Uh, so then uh, he comes in and he's like, stand up. And he's doing more ultrasound action and stuff. And Yeah, you got a bunch of stones in there. And I'm like, oh, great. That's that's not going to be good. And he's like, let me call your doctor and see what she wants you to do. Uh, but you're probably just going to go home. You're going to have to go see a, 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 a specialist of some kind, yeah, or whatever GI dude or whatever, and 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 you know, schedule it right mm-hmm. because yeah, it's the, eventually those things come through and they cause pain and it's not comfortable right. and that's that yeah, exactly. And so I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, and then he comes in. And he's like, yeah, your doctor wants you to go to the ER now. <laughs> I'm like, wow, why? And he's like, well, I don't know, but you're. Your blood test was not necessarily the best. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. I wonder what's going on. So I go to the go to the ER and hang out in there. And it, it's really funny. You get seen really fast. Um, and the physician who saw me is like, so so no pain. I'm like, no. Oh, like an hour ago, I was in pain, but like now, I'm like, I'm good to go. I'm like, can I have a sandwich? <laughs> yeah, I haven't eaten all day. And he's like, no, we're gonna we're gonna have you hang out here for a little bit, and and we're gonna we're gonna have you go do an MRI. I'm like, that's a little extreme, isn't it? I'm, I'm, I mean, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, we, we've seen the ultrasound. We, I, I gave you the CD, yeah, yeah. right? Uh, so have an MRI. Joey Snow, experience. greatest hits. Have you ever had an MRI? Best. That's fun. Not. <laughs> no. Is that the machine that's the big... Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. been through those. I haven't been. Th- I've watched my son go through those. Yeah, it's not fun. No. No. Uh, so MRI results come in, and they're like, okay, we're going to send you home. You're going to have to go see a guy. But we want to take blood one more time. I, I know a guy. Yeah. You go see a guy. Yeah, you go see a guy. He does He does fencing, too. We go down 133rd Street. <laughs> He's a good guy that does fences. Don't you know. yeah. <laughs> so they, they, they do another blood test, and they come back, and they're like, I want you to see the surgeon. So the surgeon comes in. And, and, and at this point, understand. There's a whole I'm, day. Yeah, exactly. Exa- well, pretty much. Yeah, I think it's 3 Did you go by yourself, PM. or did you bring yeah, your, no, I'm your totally rolling. Others. I'm totally rolling solo. I've got my car is parked out in the, in the visitor parking. <laughs> in the right? expensive parking. You know? Well, no, I got a pass. <laughs> I got a pass. Oh, okay. Yeah. Woo. Multi-pass? Yeah. Multi-pass. <laughs> uh, so I'm sitting there, and and, and, and and surgeon comes in, and she's like, so, you know, and they draw on the whiteboard. This is what these parts do, and this is where they are. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> we don't know what this one does. <laughs> but it doesn't really do anything. But it's there. But it, it gets stones. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, <laughs> and so uh, after after that, the the surgeon's like, "Yeah, I'm going to call up and see what what the options are." And she comes back in and she's like, "Yeah, so they're prepping the OR now. We're going to get you ready to go." <laughs> and I, I, I went from I'm going home. <laughs> To, I'm feeling fine. To, yeah, I'm feeling fine. I'm going to go home. I might have to schedule this for later. I can work it out, you know, maybe not before, you yeah. know, I was going to ask, can I go on this trip? We've got a big event in Germany. We've got a big event in London. So, uh, next I, you know up, you're on a next table. I know I'm, I'm, I'm frantically phoning the missus <laughs> going, uh, honey, I'm going, going to surgery in 45 minutes. Yeah, I've, I've got to sign this absolution thing so I don't sue people and things yeah. like that. Do you want to be over here to, to witness and, and, that? And Jay's in a, in a board meeting for the dance team. I was about to say, she's probably doing dance stuff. Yeah, it's dance it, weekend, right? Well, yeah, exactly. She's in a big board meeting. <laughs> like, all of a sudden, she leaves that. And the, the other dance moms take her car home and, oh, nice. you know, take care of the, the, the children and everything as I go rolling off into surgery. <laughs> and, and then, as I mentioned before, I uh, the before the show started is after the actual gallbladder surgery they're like yeah we think we're good we're, you're gonna go home here go ahead and eat so i have full breakfast i'm like okay you know still not not awesome but uh then they come in and they go <laughs> the surgeon says so i got everything but i'm worried that some stones got out <laughs> <laughs> and, and maybe caught in, in, in this in this other duct. We, so what we lost do, a sponge during the procedure. <laughs> I, we don't know that's if it's what in I'm you. It was. <laughs> we left a part of, in there, of, right? Of course, now I have the uh, thought of curling stones. I'm like, how do these things fit? A 20 Believe pound me, stone. It feels that way. I know. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, anyway, uh, then I had another procedure done the next day. Wow. <laughs> where they shoved a camera down my throat. And yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, at the end of can the we, day, can we talk I've about IoT recovery. or something? Like, yeah. you know, oh, no. Was, <laughs> I, no. Or Azure AD. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's crazy, man. So you're back. I, I, no. But not really? Not until Monday. You're, oh, you're, you're not even working today? Not even working And today. he comes in to do this show. I came in to do the show. Wow. wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank you. I won't. I won't make fun of you then. We're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna take Ledwig's suggestion. This. This. The, the show name is already set. It's. It's all the stones. <laughs> <laughs> all the stones. All the stones. That's the name of the show for next. That's the name next of the. Time? Yeah. Okay, I can right mark all that. the stones. Mark it. Make and, it and so. I'll, put, I'll actually put it in teams this time. Thanks, Ledwig. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of Ledwig, we, I'm so jealous. He was tiki-ing He was tiki-ing, He was Disneying. He went to our friend Will yeah. at the Tiki Bar. And I do have to say, he actually put a pair of ears on top of his Tilly. I was going to bring uh, that up. Yeah, it wasn't, it's, I don't know. It's, it gave him a nice looking shadow, but uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if the Tilly hat would be officially impressed by that or not. Uh, our, our own Essex girl comes in at Game of Stones. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's, that, oh, I ooh. like that one, too. That's, or, or Ice and Stones. Yeah, we might have to have, like, a Facebook poll or something to say what the yeah, new one with, is. What's the new show? Let's, let's expand on our on our socials. Our, our friend Super Crystal's joined. Hello. Uh, nice. So I shouldn't put so, down. Do anyone else we need to say hello to that's in the chat that we haven't seen yet? Any uh, other I don't know. I was talking a lot. Sorry. Yeah. I had to tell the story because it's, it's, it's like really Amar's here. Story. Pierre's here. Oh, Pierre Roman is yeah. here. Yeah, uh, Harold's here. Mark uh, Fleming's here. The last time I did work, I helped Pierre Roman. Yeah, I've. So you did? I did. <laughs> he had Azure AD questions, and I answered them. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah. So technically, that beer money or. <laughs> but in the yeah, yeah, we, we have to figure this one out. How that, I, I think that's just that's still the preamble to the show. Okay, we yeah, should probably talk. The, yeah, well, we, we can talk about work. We're twenty-four but you minutes in. We can talk. What? We, no, we can change it to the show now. That was your work. You're making yourself healthy again. Okay. So that was your work this week. That That's was my from your trenches. That's well, quite they, the trench story. There were some story. serious trench, <laughs> trenches <laughs> going there. There's some serious trenches there. Still. I think the doctors were trenching. And yeah. let me tell you, try being on a restricted diet when you oh. don't have a kitchen. Oh. That's, that's oh, hard. Oh, even worse. Yeah. You can't just get like a McDonald's and fries. No. no. <laughs> so no. did you know nope. this, this is where Canada is ahead of the States? Again, speaking oh, about God. Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> Big Mac with bacon on it. I've seen the commercials. Did you have it when you were up there? I didn't, and I'm so ticked off. I didn't have it. So we, we should, I was up there. Uh, I was up there in Vancouver this past weekend, we, and I did not get a Big Mac. It's a limited edition. That's all it is. It's a limited edition. It's gone this weekend, probably. Uh, I'm not driving back up there again so this it's weekend. Not, it wouldn't be available in April, probably. Uh, well, we can find out because um, uh, our good friend Steve has actually gotten a speaking Steve. engagement. At SharePoint Saturday in April. Who's Steve? 
uh, our audio guy. Oh, we got a new one? Yeah. Okay. Jared decided he's, he's in the big time now. So yeah. uh, Steve is filled in for him. And oh, Steve's okay. actually speaking on Jared's behalf. Really? At the SharePoint conference. This is, this is the, the, the jumping ground yeah. that being the audio guy of this program. It does. Get we to. launch careers here. <laughs> we absolutely do. We launch careers. Speaking yeah. careers. <laughs> SharePoint speaking careers. So I've got a, uh, April should be good weather uh, yep. to drive up there. Yep. And I think I'll probably take a, you don't, you don't speak first thing in the morning, do you? Probably not, but I'm going to be driving up on Friday. Yeah. I might drive yeah, up first thing in the morning on Saturday. Just go for a motorcycle I'll, drive. I'll find out when I speak. Or something like that. Yep. Uh, Gareth says, doesn't the U.S. have some limited edition Big Mac right now, too? Yes, we do. It's a mini Big Mac. Uh, and the grand Big Mac. Just yeah, so, so there's either a really small one or a really big one, but we don't have bacon. Bacon. Bacon on the Big Mac. Bacon makes the world a better That's place. weird. When, Very cool looking. We had, we had a uh, team member from our team in India visiting. And oh, yeah? Yesterday was his last day, and we took him tipsy cow for lunch. Oh, oh, yeah? And we had the beer-battered bacon. Uh-huh. Oh, nice. Appetizer. Oh, yeah. Everyone was like, what the? And then oh, they tried yeah. it, and they were like, oh, my gosh, this is the best thing ever. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. We did our we did our plan for the trip. We did it. We had a great time. We then, uh, we, we I, was, I was probably up there visiting my brother-in-law I haven't seen in, like, four, five years since we've moved here. Uh, he came up to, to go to Whistler the following week. Uh, so that was cool. But um, on the way back, we choose specifically – our route to make sure that we go past a particular superstore uh, in Surrey. Actually, yes, yeah, in Surrey. <laughs> I know uh, what you're talking about. On the about. way back, <laughs> because that's the only place on the way towards the border that you can pick up cheese bread. This is one of those staple items that my family has to have is this cheese bread from the bakery that's made there at the store. It's like this white squishy bread that has cheese molded on the inside of it and on top of it. And I found nowhere else where I can find this cheese bread, except for this one place. Is and it Canadian Tire? There, uh, there's not near a Canadian <laughs> Please tire. Please tell me it's Canadian tire. No, no. So it, it's, it's at Superstore. So we had the Superstore. We got the cheese bread. And we also uh, found some cheese dinner rolls that we picked up as well. So literally, so picture this. I'm there with, with uh, twin number one. We get there before twin two and the other car because they had to take two cars up. Um, uh, we got there before. We took all the bread. Like I'm carrying six loaves of bread in my hand with two loaves of uh, of dinner rolls, and then we're trying to find um, we're trying to find the chocolate bar aisle uh, for chocolate bars, and Coffee, then I get and then I get a text from my wife, and she says, "Damn it, there's no cheese bread." Like, <laughs> I'm like, "Nope, I got it all." <laughs> uh, but then, so we picked up. We actually found um, boxes of full size candy bars. Not the mini ones, but boxes of full-size candy bars. So we got six boxes of those. Uh, and then we got uh, Bits and Bites, regular flavor, original. Uh, two bags of that. And uh, then we, we, I'm carrying them like this because, of course, you go in stupidly think at all. Just pick up a couple and I don't need a cart. Well, I needed a cart. Yeah. We finally put it down the thing. And the woman looks at us and she's just like, Ringing the stuff in, looking at us, ringing the stuff in, looking at us. And then Kelly actually said, yeah, we live in Seattle right now, and we can't get the stuff in Seattle, so we always come here when we ever come by to get it. She's like, oh, I got it. Ah, no got it. So, so I now have cheese bread and dinner rolls and chocolate bars at the house. So, so Harjit and Prayer are going, they, they've, they've crossed the line. Yeah. Masala Big Mac, no H jit. No. That is not how it works. Nope. And Big Mac samosas, no <coughs> prayer. That won't work. No. <laughs> no. That Just stop. I will, I, I, you know. I want some cheese Now that bread. you've talked about bringing all this stuff over the border, I'm going to be yeah. worried for your next trip over that they're going to be like, so you're the guy that takes all the cheese bread over the border. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, it's baked. It's all fine. It's not raw cheese. Uh, but I will say that going through the border, um, I took one for the team because we had a friend with us uh, who does not have an access card. So we had to go through the regular lane, oh, uh, which was annoying. Um, but we go through the regular lane, and then the border guard on the U.S. side um, says, um, sir, can, can I see uh, you scan in with your green cards? You didn't use your Nexus cards. And I'm like, I scanned with my green cards because I was programmed, or I was told, you have to use your green cards whenever you come across the border, unless you're in the Nexus lane, in which case you can use the Nexus lane. She said, well, why didn't she use the Nexus lane? I'm like, because we have a friend here that doesn't have Nexus card. We have to come through here. And she says, can you show me the, the, the Nexus cards, please? I'm like, yeah, here you go. Pass them over. And then she you know, goes away and comes back, and she says, yes, sir, um, I'm supposed to take these away from you right now because you didn't activate your kids' Nexus cards with the PIN code. 
that you have to do. Oh. Your your wife told me that she thinks the cards were activated, but now you have to tell your wife that they weren't activated. I'll be nice and I'll let you go ahead and you can go back out through again. But just so you know, um, if you have Nexus, you should be going to the Nexus lane and they need to be activated. I'm like, oh. So what do you do about so, the first Yeah, I was going to so, say, what do you do in the case that you're Nexus, but somebody else is not? You go through the regular line, but you still show the Nexus you, card. You still do because the Nexus Because they, they have those, you know, 25 different sensors that scan the inside of your car as you go through right. the, the okay. thing. Yeah. And so when you hold up your, your documentation, it says, you know, one, two, three, and it counts the number of identity cards that are yeah. there. Yep. Um, I'm supposed to show the Nexus ones there ah. um, so that they, they know that they're there. So they scan that. Yeah. But either way, yep. oops. Yeah. So apparently someone peeled off the sticker that says must be activated. And I thought they're activated when I grabbed them. And yeah. they're not. Yeah. So fun. fun. Lesson learned. That's, that's not as fun as Lesson uh, learned. Yep. getting the questioning from the Canadian guard that I did one time crossing north. Oh, yeah? Because my girlfriend at the time jumped out of the car because she was traveling on her diplomatic port, passport. <laughs> she couldn't <laughs> you're travel not in a non-government right. vehicle. I'm going to say, you're not allowed to do that. And you can't jump out of cars. watched her jump out of the car and looked oh, at yeah. me, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> She's running for the border. <laughs> well, and she just remembered that she was traveling on her diplomatic. So How come she didn't travel on her regular? Because she was going up for work. Oh, okay. Got her. Yeah. Got her. Um, have you random spent? Do we want to jump to random spending? <clears throat> uh... Or do you, do you, have you done any bear money support apart from buying cheese bread, which Steve N says that you can make? It's not the same, Steve. And, and Steve, if you have the recipe for um, Loblaw's cheese bread, uh, send it my way, please. Do a PM. Um, so work-wise, I have been working on stuff, but it's, again, stuff that I can't talk about, which is really annoying now that I'm doing this. Um, but it's cool. <laughs> it's um, awesome to go to engineering. You know, it's, it's not awesome not when you're running you, you a podcast about where it. you're talking right. about exactly. what you do for work. I saw this freaking amazing demo at the All Hands um, yep. that I can't talk about I again. I missed the All Hands. Until May time frame, I think I, it is. My jaw, if it's the same one, my jaw hit the floor. Oh, it's yeah. amazing. So yeah. very, very cool. I can't talk about that either. So yeah. we're just teasing all of our public people exactly. here. Just yeah. wait till May. We can talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then... Uh, yeah, so I can't. So yeah, let's, let's go to, to um, beer money. Beer money. Beer money have you done I, any beer money? I, any I, beer I, well, money? I did beer money for myself. Beer money is the support that we do for our friends and family. Does it count for you too? Sure. Sort of. Okay. I, so this this is it, well, is it really beer money support or is it just unclosing something? No, this this was basically <laughs> so far out on the rings that it would not come back again, and it was really behaving badly. It was out in and so I went in and mm. simply transferred over the. Transferred over any data that wasn't inside my OneDrive and my other data areas, mm -hmm. uh, and then flattened the box with a Pixie Boot and did a new install uh, to go back onto a more stable system. So I redid my box here. Uh, and just recently, I also did a reinstall, a reconfiguration of another Surface, uh, personal Surface device uh, for my son to use um, at school. Yeah. Because they give him these netbooks Ugh. that Don't are like started. Don't this started. thick, yep. way. Yep. 12 times more than a Surface does, mm -hmm. and they have them locked down so tight with policy, you can't even add a freaking printer nope. mm -hmm. to be able to print from. Nope. Uh, so he said, Dad, can, can I use my, like, I'm allowed to. If, look, here on the website, it says I can use my own computer if I want. You just won't be able to print while you're at school. Um, I'm like, sure. So I did, I set it up. I actually did an AD domain join uh, through the internet to talk to LWSD uh, so he could use his login credentials. That's all fine. It all works. Um, he has his OneDrive to his OneDrive inside of LWSD. So mm -hmm. LWSD is the Lake Washington School District, in case you're wondering. Uh, so that's all good. So yeah. I set him up. But um, I also set him up to be more organized with OneNote on the phone to OneNote on the Surface ah, to yes. OneNote up inside of the cloud for LWSD. All the OneNotes. To do stuff. You because we notes. were having, we were talking about how he's having an issue with just simply keeping track of the stuff he has to be done. And I'm like, don't the teachers like write that down in like the corner of the board or something like that for you know things that are coming up and things that are being done? Nope. He's like, most do, some don't, but I get in trouble. I'm like, here, take this. There's a widget on this. You can just press the widget and it's actually camera into OneNote. Click, done. Put your phone away. Yep. And now you yep. have a record of it. Yep. And I'm and he's like, yeah, but then it's only on my phone. I'm like, no. Oh, if it's on OneNote, it's, it's oh everywhere. look, it's there all of a sudden. Yeah. He's like, wow. Yeah. So we now have a standing engagement, 15 minutes minimum every night. He and I go through the one notes to figure out what needs to be done and then schedule stuff inside of his calendar mm -hmm. to make sure he actually does stuff. 
That's brilliant. That's that's great. Don't know if it's going to work yet. Hey, <laughs> but, we're but at find least out. It, hey, you've got day one. Yep, day yep. one. Day one. First step: technology enabled and trained. I uh, I did some personal bear money support. You've been at home. What else have you been doing besides sleeping with a puppy? <laughs> well, so the ubiquities. U- ubiquities. Yeah. You got multiples yet? Uh, I do. Oh, you got twinsies. Yeah, I do. <laughs> twinsies. A couple APs. Uh, Twinsie but, uh, APs. The, uh, APs. Uh, did I tell you guys? I don't know if I ever told you guys that uh, ended up getting a cloud key. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So I was no, using I, I, I was I, using I got the a online version, key. and I decided to go with the the cloud key. It's like the, the size of a version. brick, right? Yeah. A little small little yeah. thing. No, it's awesome. <laughs> um, apparently, in the the last upgrade, I was upgrading too many things at one time. Oh yeah. And it kind of got stuck and kind of fell off the the network. Uh, and so when we went into the the cloud key is is what controls kind of everything. It's how we set policy. So in our house, the Wi Fi shut off at a certain time. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> We had to go in and extend them because last week we had a holiday. Yeah. So there were a couple of days that they're, you know, it's not a school night. They can have Wi-Fi longer. Uh, needed to do that. Cloud Key wasn't responsive. Now, normally, you basically have to kind of go do a hard reset on this thing. But I kind of went through and I went, I wonder if I can access it somehow through the IPs. So I managed to get a connection in. And then instead of going in through the process to normally reset it, I went, Let's restore. There's backups on here. I know I, I auto backup every week. All right. And so uh, let's let's do a backup from a, a restore from a few weeks ago before I did the, all the upgrades and let's see if it comes right back online. Sure enough, comes right back up online. Don't nice. lose any of the settings because you know resetting it is fine, but then I lose all the settings of the networks in the house and mm-hmm. I just have to. It's it's just kind of a pain to set it up again. Uh, so all comes back <coughs> online and everything, and then I've just decided that from now on I'm going to take. I never do this. It always warns you before you do the upgrades that you should take a backup first. <laughs> yeah, I never do that. I'm like, ah, oh, it'll be fine. Ah, nothing bad can happen here. Right? Uh, so I, I did my own support there. That, but just the, the fact that it was just so easy to just go and do a quick restore, that, that just really speaks to that, to that product. Ever since I had an NT4 SCSI driver go bad on me during an update back in NT4 days, I'm like a backup guy. Before yeah. patches, yeah, I can be. Speaking of backup, that's the uh, beer money that I did for my sister. You did some backups. Cloudberry backup. Have you guys played with that at all? No. Cloudberry. Cloudberry. That sounds like some like Canadian invention from and Waterloo. Actually, they yeah. they make or a lot cosmetic of products. Lines. They make a lot of products for connecting to the cloud, especially storage. Yeah. yeah. They have one product called Cloudberry backup that will backup files off your computer to any of the cloud providers oh, yeah. as well as to local USB drives or network storage, uh, network attached storage. It's pretty brilliant. Nice. It's not too expensive. And there are, I know there's one podcast in particular that has them as a sponsor and you can possibly get a free license. Are you that. trying to say that we need to go off and get sponsors or something? I think we should get some sponsors. <laughs> we actually have to have a show that people want to listen to. to yeah. get sponsors. Wow. We, need, we need some <laughs> more. First and foremost. I've been looking at the stats. We need yeah. some more people uh, to no, be able to it, do that. But, but I'm using it to back up my personal stuff. And it's amazing. It's going up into Azure uh, cold storage. So it's brilliant for me. What have you done? I don't know. It's, he closed it. It's zoomed in or something. <laughs> okay. No, the video's stopped. Okay. I don't know. Uh, uh, Gareth, says, why, Gareth says he was at the grocery store, heard two college students talking about Google Docs. Yep. Uh, one stated how much they hated Google Docs, and the other said, I miss Microsoft. Nice. <laughs> that's, that's, kind of, that's a rarity in the college world, because I, yep. I thought that most of them loved the, 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 the Google stuff. Yep. A little crazy. I'm a fan of the, the the OneNotes, though. I my entire team functions nothing in OneNote. Yeah, I, I mean everything is in OneNote and Teams. That's how we do everything. My biggest issue is that I have about forty different OneNotes. That is my problem, as and well. about forty different teams. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, uh, that's I only that's have a couple problem. teams, but yeah. So like like we made a team for Corey Sanders' organization because mm-hmm. I was griping about can I, can how no one does. No, it's the it's, it's it's a functional org. It's org, um, and the but then are you sure it's functional? Well, it's it's dysfunctional because no one uses it because we're all email people. Uh, but then someone, right. another person, went ahead and they made like a massive Uber one that includes like Jason Zander's org. Oh, jeez, you know how big that is? Yeah, 
Teams isn't designed to be that big. No. I mean, the fact that you're limited to only adding 99 people at a time tells you there's a certain upper limit what you can do. But I'm actually having my first Teams video conference. Mm -hmm. Scheduled video conference meeting. I've we, never had one before. We use I've, I've been using I've been using Skype whenever yeah, I yeah, yeah, right? yeah. this is the norm, say, is there, right? Is there, is there a difference? We, What's the difference? Oh, it's huge difference. Is it? Yes. Am I going to be dumping Skype for business now? You will be. Eventually, they're going to replace Skype for business with Teams. It's going to be the client. Yeah, that's that's on the roadmap. Here's the big part, though. Teams uses the old Skype uh, consumer codecs. Oh yeah. Which are amazing. They're so clean and crisp. Versus the Skype for Business, which uses the old link slash office RTC server. Yes, nice. exactly. So we actually uh, utilized the uh, Teams meeting last week when we were in our one of our major incidences. Oh, yeah? Incidences? And, incidences. Incidences, incidences. Yeah, it's been plural for the past two weeks. Nice. Uh, as, as DRI, I'm so glad this is my last day. Um, I'm I'm off call at 6 p.m. tonight. I'm nice. going straight to Bellevue, bro. You're <laughs> going right to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I might go home, drop off the car, grab a lift, and go back to the Oh, bar nice. <laughs> it's been that kind of a week, huh? It has been that kind of a I week. I still got to go. I yes, been. I know you still got to go. I, I got to find out what, uh, what parental responsibilities they have tonight, and then I'll maybe I'll go. Adulting you can't is go, eh? John, you don't have to do adult. You want to go? I can have a pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> you can have a pretzel. I can have a pretzel. Yeah. Um, for, but for all of our listeners, come on out of the yeah, Bellevue Beer Company. Brewing Company, 6 p.m. Nice. Well, I, I think we're going, are, are we not scheduled to go over this weekend or upcoming? Because isn't that MVP thing coming up here soon? MVP's in two weeks. Oh, it's in two weeks. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we'll, that we'll is too far away. Stuff with yeah. the MVPs, yeah. But no, it was... Uh, Tony, I'm totally good. Tony's how, like, Joey looks like a man in pain. I'm like, it's just discomfort. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah. I'm not in pain. I'm all good. The, it's um, all good. The the quality of the audio and video is so much better. Oh, yeah? It's yeah. Just, well, it's like using real Skype, not Skype for business. I'm going to find out in about 45 minutes. Out and about. Out, out, out and about. about. Out See, and about. My Canadian out accent gets thicker when I go up north, eh? Hey. hey. <laughs> or, or you've been watching sorry. too much I'm CBC. Sorry. Take off you hosers. Oh. Uh, do, do we get them to uh, show uh, Strange Brew at BBC tonight? We could. <laughs> we could. So we done. We done from the trenches. We yes. done beer talk. We have beer uh, money. We've done beer money. Uh, beer talk. Uh, you haven't been drinking at all. No. What have you been making? Uh, you you entered I, some into competition. Have we have? So, do we have results? So, so no. They I, they haven't been bottled yet. They oh, get you bottled. Just, you just threatened to enter them. No, I, I've, I've been yet. accepted. Oh, okay. So basically, you have to apply for the National Homebrewers Association. Yeah. You say, I want to put in X number of beer, and these are the locations. And then they say, okay, you made it in fast enough. You get to put in four beer, pay us 14 bucks a bottle, and then ca categorize your beer correctly. Wait a minute. You pay them? You to pay get them their beer. for judging services and uh, for logistical stuff. Judging yeah. stuff. But if you. If, <laughs> I mean, it's it's. Think about this. We people would send us. Send us good. People could send us beer services. for free, and we they pay they would, us. They would pay us for judging services. Damn it! Why did I think about this? The first annual Patch and Switch beer competition. That's right. We, we should judge just, anyone that wants. Send us beer. <laughs> we'll judge it <laughs> on the show and send you back results. Oh, that is perfect. Yeah, we'll, we'll be cheaper than the other guys. We'll be $13 a beer. Make sure it's in clear bottles with no labels on them whatsoever. They have to be done with the BJP, BJCP style guidelines. Uh, send them to uh, Patch and Switch at <laughs> okay, Channel 9, stop. Building 25, no, 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 One stop, Microsoft no, Way, no, no, Reb and Wash, no, 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 now, we are, now we've gotten ourselves into liability. <laughs> yeah. Golden Az would be like, why are these beer bottles coming in? <laughs> Don't oh. say beer yet. We'll work on this. This this is cool. I like that. Anyway, stay tuned to Passions with. So three made it in. Mm. Uh, you don't have to send the bottles until March nineteenth to the March thirtieth window. Oh, gotcha. And then in April they do the judging mm -hmm. uh, with the official judges. And I just got an email on Friday saying that they've opened up a um, Seattle drop off location, so I don't actually have to mail them. Oh, anymore. nice! Yeah, I have to go up to um, 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 it's a no, brewery no, no. and. Brewery in uh, Woodenville. Well, that doesn't suck. Uh, to go drop them off. Uh, the one of 20 up there? Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Um, Next to the 40 wineries? I want to say Crucible. Is it Crucible, Crucible. Brewing? Crucible. 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 Yeah. Might be Crucible Brewing. Yeah. And we do have to raise a glass 
can, a can? can into a can, raise, yeah. raise a glass. Yeah. Tip of the hat to uh, a now dearly departed friend of ours. Who? Hi-Fi Brewing. They closed uh, their doors. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Closed their doors. Yeah, they did close their doors. Did, um, you, buy any, did you buy any gear? It, I can't afford a fourteen thousand like, dollar thirty barrel fermenter in, in my garage right me, now. You can't tell me you didn't look. You did. I look at every single one of those prices. You can't tell me you did not measure the garage to see if it would fit. Because <laughs> I know you. If I had, if I had a different garage style that didn't actually have a floor above it, like you know how um, some of them just they're actually peaked roofs, they yeah. would fit. Um, but uh, it was it was forty nine thousand dollars for the brewing system. What about the back bedroom? Back well. Still, it's it's. I've only got I'm only got a, an El Cheapo nine nine foot ceiling house that I have. Okay. So I need double houses. Double houses. <laughs> I could, I could knock a hole in the floor, in the second <laughs> floor, and make it into a double. Hmm. <laughs> we'll have to talk. Uh, um, but <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So so, so be the beers haven't been judged yet. Beers have not been judged yet. Uh, I did categorize them. I'm putting in a Hellas Lager. Uh, from the clogger mm. i'm putting in a brown ale american brown ale for my honey brown and i'm putting in a specialty rye ipa or specialty ipa for my rye ipa and i now need to go off and uh buy some bottles and cork them up or, or cap them yeah, up. yeah we've got the beer filler thing got the beer gunny thingy yep and beer um gun. try it out never used the beer gun before have to uh, figure it out yeah. can the uh, beer gun be used couple. on something other than a bottle well <laughs> Yeah, totally. If you wanted to, <laughs> but it is a counter pressure filler, oh, so you okay. yeah you yeah, inflate exactly. yourself. <laughs> you inflate yourself with CO two. Yeah, wouldn't, be good. The, wouldn't be good. We um, already had that happen. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. Uh, so there's that, and then I already called a brew day for this weekend. I didn't see Which that. Day? Um, I haven't decided yet because the reason I why I can't is, lift anything over no, 20 no, you pounds. don't have to lift anything. You can just sit in the chair, but you can't even drink. So yeah, I don't I'm know. What good are you at this point? He can he can turn the hot dogs in the barbecue. He can turn the hot dogs in the barbecue. And I have reindeer dogs. Nice. Uh, so the uh, I'm making a uh, ginger ale. So an ale with ginger in it. Okay. Why? Um, because I've always wanted to make one. I've never found a good recipe, and I found <laughs> I did my research to find one. <laughs> I've I've done my recipe search, and it's okay. actually based on a very nice um, uh, English English uh, traditional ale style um, that uh, is using ginger and lime and some other stuff to be able to make it into a ginger beer. Okay, and uh, ginger ale, sorry, not ginger beer, and we'll see. Okay, because you know when you come in like Brewer's Choice the last time. And second oh, place, God. you can't really win again. You have to let someone else try to win, right? Yeah, well, the problem so, is, is I actually have to brew at so, some point, and well, I don't know when that's going to happen because mates. of my travel schedule. Well, so. that's called planning and choosing when you're going to do that. it. So you better get on that, buddy. I do. Otherwise, um, I won't have something for the April right, competition. Because in, in case you don't know, Beer Team 6 is an officially recognized it is. beer club as it part is. of uh, the National Homebrewers Association. That's beer team so six awesome. uh and uh the way we work on our club we have dues the founding members uh don't they have lifetime perpetuity uh we are accepting That's new members point. are we um we have to come up with a new fee structure True. Uh, i'm thinking like um one million one million dollars to join <laughs> or a case of beer <laughs> uh that should be a good exchange rate <laughs> And then uh, <laughs> one million dollars Canadian or a case of beer. Yeah, that's about right. That's, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. And then um, dollar you can join <laughs> the beer club. Um, I've got so a brew. You do have to brew. Do, is there enough time to do this IPA? I don't know. You better get on. It. I've already claimed the fermenter for it. the next uh, week. I have to look at it. I have to look at the calendar and the schedule. And so I'm back on the road again uh, after next week. Work but, stuff. Uh, Could, yeah. Work gets in the way sometimes. It, it, I, yeah, when when you're running events basically every week, it kind of gets in the way. Yeah. Uh, have you have you have you random spent on anything? Did you buy any cool stuff? Any, <laughs> any, I, any new techie gadgety geeky? I did actually geekily thingies. Uh, I can't show it to you because it's not on my person right now. What'd you buy? Um, I bought a couple of those tracking tiles. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I've 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 nine been getting bucks. the ads. I've been getting the ads on the on the Facebooks yeah, yeah. on occasion or on the other social medias. No, because well, well, my wife random spent. And she bought a new car. What? She bought a new car. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear this. No, we sold the Durango. What? The Durango's gone. That's why I take two cars to Canada because we couldn't fit in the cars. <laughs> with the had too many people, uh, so she sold the Durango and now she's got herself a um, Crosstrek 2018. 
<laughs> Just like uh, uh, similar Sim. influence from Mr. Uh, sound Engineer over there. Um, but she loves it. She oh, yeah. absolutely loves it. She's got lots of doohickeys and visibility and eyesight stuff going on and lane departure. And actually, I'm driving along, and all of a sudden the wheel starts to turn like this because it's keeping me in the lane. Uh, <laughs> it's about time you know, somebody so keeps you in the lane. It's, exactly. It keeps me in line. So uh, you've actually nice. been able to drive it. I have been able to drive it, which is good. Fantastic. Uh, and uh, she let me drive it up to Canada. So Whoa. I got to drive long distance with it, which is fun. Well, that was, it has that must have been nice. It has adaptive cruise control. It slows yeah. down the guy in front of you. Oh, yeah, slows I love down. that. Love I, that in my car. She oh, didn't I like the fact that I was testing to see if it comes to a full stop. <laughs> it does. It will. My foot was millimeters away from the brake, and it actually comes to a full stop. Mm -hmm. so I that's cool. I wouldn't want you testing that feature either. <laughs> she wasn't too happy about it. You do have to remember that all those different safety features have a minimum speed before they kick in. So it doesn't work inside of uh, pulling into a parking spot. Yeah. Heated seats? <laughs> yes. Heated seats. Air-conditioned seats? Air con uh, no air, no air no conditioning. Condition uh, just the heated, uh, heated seats. Let's just see So, um, so random spend-wise for her, um, she got that. I was looking into a tinting company to try to get some tint on the windows. Uh, <laughs> To tint the black, you know, make them yeah, darker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I need to find some tinting. They're pretty dark as is. Not the front ones. And the back ones are... Yeah, it's are, illegal to have the front ones <laughs> past a certain level. I, past a certain level, but they aren't, they aren't tinted at all. The main reason why is because of people looking in the back to see if they can take anything. Understood. So I'm going darker there. But anyway. I can't <clears> see in the back of mine at all. I can see Different my daughter's... I can see my, I can see my daughter's backpacks in the back. Okay. So anyway. Um... She did that. So, yeah, she just said, you know what, Rick? We're going to lose these keys. Or, sorry, no. Let me qualify that. Rick, you're going to lose these keys because <laughs> I only have one Jeep key right now, and that's it because I lost one. And they're 300 bucks to get a new key cut these days, which is annoying because yeah, the they have the microchips have inside them, right? Yep. So the Subaru, so she, she said, you know, why don't we get these tiles? So I'm like, okay, go online, pick up. They had a four-pack on for like 30 bucks, so it's yeah. less than nine bucks a tile, which is awesome. Uh, installed and done, working. Great. What do you think? What do you think? I, I, have you lost something? You know what's hilarious is I can actually go on the app right now and I can ring her keys at work right now. I would not <laughs> suggest doing that. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's let's do it. Uh, and then also, likewise, if you have the keys and you can't find your phone, you can just press the key thing twice and it finds yeah. your phone for you. Oh, nice. That's pretty neat. And then yeah. it's crowdsourced location services. So yeah. they beacon. And uh, if you have the app installed and you're running it and as well and you happen to walk past my keys, it triangulates between the both of us where the keys are. Oh. So that's cool. Uh, yeah, so I bought tiles. So they there's two different sizes? They have a flat one you can put uh, inside of a book or inside of a laptop or something like that. They have a they have they have um, the small square ones, mm -hmm. uh, and then they have a designer version of the small square ones. Uh, I would actually buy the designer versions because they have a sport version which is waterproof. Because the ones that I have are just water resistant, and I know I'm going to drop my keys in the <laughs> in the water <laughs> when I'm visiting a friend's boat or something like that. Yes. If I get an invite back this summer, uh -huh. uh, I might I doubt end you're going to get an invite it. back. It's tough, eh? Yep. Although it, apparently my daughter's um, dating what a boy that happens to what? have a oh, family oh, that owns a what? boat. Oh <laughs> my! So I might be invited onto a different boat. <gasps> as you're well. always invited on my boat. You're, 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 you're good. You're, you're good. I, I know how to tie the knots. You do know how to tie the knots. I can Absolutely. tie the knots. And you actually volunteer to help anytime and and clear things up and and oh, there's it's... there's other people who have been on my boat that are basically like I'm and just you here trusted to sit me here. You, and you and trusted like, me no. to go in and to actually take apart a speaker grill and fix a wire on a speaker and put it back together again I did that's trust that is trust you were never here this summer yeah, I don't want to hear around you're me. out of the place uh, so what if I was in <clears> Europe <throat> for a month big deal <laughs> I came back it's rough eh uh, question in, in in the chat room uh, asking if we're going to be around at MVP Summit. I'm going to be. I was. I'm going to be around. Yeah, I was approached to Obviously, actually speak a lot at of the it MVP is, Summit. What? I was approached to speak at the MVP Summit. Did it happen? Or it's never followed through, and I'm ah. too busy to follow through on it. Oh, so if gotcha. any M MCTs are listening, uh, if they actually still have a slot and they want me to talk about something, yeah, sure, I can talk. Uh, uh, so the uh, uh, MVP Summit, I will be around. When is it? It's the uh, third. The, yeah, no, the sixth or seventh, fifth. It's the like fifth. Fifth or the ninth. So, the, so people are arriving this weekend. Yeah, people are. I think we're supposed to.
Are they? MCT's no, next weekend. Yeah, next, next weekend's weekend. when they're. Yeah, yeah, they arrive like week's so time. like Sunday the fourth. I think is when we're yeah. supposed to be. They doing still have to. Right? They still have to finish putting up all the security barriers around downtown Bellevue. Yeah, uh, for the MVPs. Yeah. So yeah, no, it's next week they arrive. <laughs> Uh, so while I may not necessarily, I, I may make the reception, their, their opening reception that's down. You know, you have a standing offer to go to the Canadian party, right? I didn't know that. Super, super crystals has put our names in. Oh, has she? Yeah. Oh, that's nice of her. That's nice of her for you. Uh, <laughs> God, <laughs> a little moody. I know, eh? There uh, we go. We'll go to BBC. So yeah, we're, we're, we're going to be around. We, absolutely. we are absolutely going to be around. So if you want to grab uh, a coffee or something, I, I, I will be here that week. Yes, I will be here that week. Nice. I have to be here that week. I don't get to <laughs> speak at the MVP Summit. I don't it's only for the seasoned there. veterans that are... are uh, it's the only big, for the, the guys big that shots. actually build the product. The big stuff, guys, right? Not us, not us guys that... No. Don't. No. Uh, right, so, yeah, no. So, so the answer is yes, we're around. <clears throat> Part of it is on campus. So if you happen to be near... Where we are, we can make it over to a cafe. Yeah, but they would yep. be gone. They, yeah, they would be gone by the ninth, which is our next show. Unless somebody's sticking around. Unless somebody's sticking around. Anybody yeah. sticking around that week? It's a Friday of that week. If they bring us beer, they can come in. <laughs> <laughs> minimum bar entry for, for guests now. You're going to keep hurting Joey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That could work. <laughs> so is Ledby back yet? Did he come back? Uh, from talking about beer? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. Though I, we got four more minutes. We already have the, the name of the show. Do they have a already. national tiki convention? Like, There has to be there a national. Be. There has or to be a, a national, national tiki uh, competition or something. For no, the forget most. the competition. <laughs> I just want to go to the convention. Yeah. I just want to go to the tiki bar down in Tacoma again. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm spending a lot of time in Tacoma these days. Yeah, Gareth said some people stay until Friday, so we'll, we'll have to see if there's any if there's any MVP guests. You know where to reach, reach us on the Facebooks and and on the Twitter. Sign Patch and Switch. <laughs> yeah, uh, Ledwick says I've been here the whole time. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> Glad to see he's here. Uh, Pop minutes, quiz, hot shot. Uh, Your talk. Tiki, tiki con. There is a tiki oh con. Gosh. Look at that. That's you know fantastic. We're Thanks, gonna, J Flow. Okay, J Flow has just been promoted to being the official show researcher. Oh yeah, yeah. He's now the show researcher. How are we going to pay him? We'll just take some. We'll just take some of the audio engineer's money. Hey, hey. He's already hey. split it between him and the social media guy. So yes, the it, social media person never it doesn't work. <laughs> he takes the money. They never start. So now it's going to be split into anything. a third. What's a third of a dollar three eighty? I don't Not know. A lot. Like I don't even know what it is. <laughs> and then that's, we have to bring into the exchange that's, rate. That's smaller than a burstable instance. <laughs> it's wow. crazy with wow. per second billing. Wow. So yeah, uh, official back, researcher. Jay always Flo. back to compute, okay. isn't yeah. it? It is. <laughs> it's that's always, what it's all about. It's, it's all, all about, about compute in the Azure's man. All about the bills. All about the builds. I've been putting in a lot of, 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 of home stuff. So like lighting under the counters, oh, under yeah. the countertop mm -hmm. LED lighting. Yeah. Cool. Over the countertop LED lighting. Does it go into multicolors? Uh, not under. Under the counters is just white. But You should honestly put will. like hue changing colored lights all underneath the counters, all above I the counters. To. Now put them all over the place. Don't tell your significant other. Cool. Sure. That's going to work. And then... When DJ Joey Snow plays his set at noon, <laughs> it synchronizes all the lights in the house. The whole house starts going like this <laughs> all over the place. You know how yeah. I wouldn't even make it through my show before I was thrown out. <laughs> I wouldn't even make it through the show. <laughs> what the heck You're this? out. You're uh, out. Yeah, no, I'm actually going to run uh, some of... The, so I've been looking between the hue. So I am a big fan of the hue lights, but they're... they're the problem that they have with their LED strips is that they come in set lengths. And you, you waste a lot when you, well I know, but you waste a lot by cutting them. The Sylvania makes I heard you some can that tape come them together in three though. foot um, lengths that you just keep adding. Oh yeah. So I've been looking at those. You can add on to the U ones. Yeah, but he needs them shorter and then it's a wasted chunk. Yeah, I d I don't I don't I don't like wasting um, LED lights. I've got some so random spending that I'm gonna have to do in it. a month's oh, time. Yeah. So I've been looking at Whoa, them. hang oh, on. What's, what's, the, what's going on there? I don't know. So I um, somebody pulled the Jared. So I'm driving my Jeep. It's, it's all fine. I loan my Jeep to my son to drive someplace, and then he calls me and he's stranded on the side of the road. The Jeep went into what's known as limp mode. 
<laughs> because the electronic throttle control um, went flaky and then basically geared it down and then cut out eventually. <laughs> With that, we've come to the end of another <laughs> exciting episode of the Patch and Switch program. I can't get the band to work. I, my <laughs> machine is in the middle of an update. Nice. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Uh, I want to say thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We're back in two weeks' time. I'm just going to leave it there. You're going to say I can, I, well, thank I, you to all the people? Can you tell me who's here? Uh, wait, wait. Crystal, Ledwig, Gareth, uh, Sean, Laura, thanks for tuning in. Tony. Uh, Sean, Tony. Um, uh, Pierre. Pierre Roman. Crystal, you got Jane. Yeah. Uh, Jane. Sean, yeah. Logan. You got the Flores is there. Tony. Harold. Dave Upton. Everybody, thanks Bartolo. for tuning in. Until next time. Have a weekend, everybody. Limp mode. Really? Limp mode. <laughs>